previously on Alan Wake. A whole I bunch of shit happened. Oh yeah, that guy was an asshole, idiot, dude, FBI person. Right, drugs. Story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. Yeah, no shit it is. Oh yeah, she was being fake kidnapped, so we don't actually know where my wife is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. E. And now I'm swimming, and I think I got my memory back. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Shh, baby, it was just a nightmare. No, it wasn't. You're not real. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Pardon? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while. Right, I know the papers. The your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. 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 Oh... This is weird. Oh, great. I'm, uh, well, at least I'm in a calm place. Ooh, and I got a nice little fluffy robe. Oh, wait, no, that's my coat. I thought that was a robe. Where am I? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. Ah, I felt no, like I this am. was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. Yeah. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Ooh, hold up. Is this the place where I was writing? There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Hmm. Nope. Oh, excuse me, chair. Was this where I was writing? I have to pay more attention to it. There's, uh... Drugs. Good evening, Alan. Oh, hello. Are you feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. I blame you for it. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Right. I'm not this buying the whole it was a coma Most thing. Of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Yeah, Splendid they have the wallets. I honestly believe I really we can get this like thing you. under control if we work together. He's this got way, the keys, Alan. so... There's plot device number one. Get the keys from him. Quick, make a red for it! Bear testicles. <laughs> oh great, there's a hedge mage. Mage? Maze. Ooh, a hedge mage. That's uh... Not going into that person's room. Hedge maze. Now, I was gonna make Alan, a shining joke, but then I experience with you. I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. That'd be nice. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Yeah. It's all in your head. 
You've been making it up. About I'm a tragic accident with your wife. No one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation. If I see the your people that I've seen die, to then I might believe you. But until then, no, you're Unless you're you full of it. The fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Going up the You're stairs. Accepted. Can't stop me. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Yeah, until it starts happening. Sure. I'll play along with it. Can I talk to Barry? For once, I might think that Barry's the, someone of reason. Nice clock, though. That's a nice sundial. I'm always a fan of giant sundials for some reason. It's cool. Oh, we're supposed to look over the lodge. See that there's nothing there. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Pretty waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. <laughs> uh, this way. That's not a storm. Those are shadows. Oh, what I'm God. Good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? I think if a little bit of column A, a bit of column B. Of me as your enemy, it's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously yeah, man, man. Voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms now. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards Can I punch him? Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> Let's go inside. What was that noise? Is that a patient going off? Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Yep. That's a patient. You were impressed scary, by my trophies scary. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, I'll punch you next. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Shut up back there. Oh good, yeah, we get to talk. That's right, I got you. Got Hammer. you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, well, we're fighting him. Innocent. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video <laughs> Elbow games. Strikes. It's yeah. trash. Of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. I find this ironic and a little meta. I love it. Come out. I thought I was saying meow. <laughs> you might have Do you have triplets in here? <laughs> I think I've seen you before. As a part of the therapy. As soon as you Shut up, lady. It, you should continue. Ooh. Let's see. You have a specialized need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure you don't interfere in your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect the follow patients. Uh, need privacy and personal space, especially when the, the they engage. They're engaged by their creative process. Uh, be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved outright. Give yourself permission to take time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment and have been specifically tailored. That have been specifically tailored to you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow. Oh. 
Okay, car insurance be damned. Uh, work best when you are accepted... Uh, Actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concern, please don't hesitate to voice them. I'm My moving. rheumatism's killing me. <laughs> There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. Yeah. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the board Anderson game? brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this... A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> they even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. And them I believe. Thor is the one with the hammer. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check. Of course it is. Here come the shadows. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room. Try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Great. Do you want me to shape the world? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Ow. Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. I like That's you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! Woo! Hold it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Good, good, good. All right. My head was. Oh, oh, oh. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? No. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. I'll believe that. Oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. No, it's called tweed. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. Who? She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was... What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Yeah. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Yeah. I've been shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? What? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. I'm just taking in the story here. This is... To open it all the way, God damn it. I just like hearing them talk, too. All right, you, you, is that it? Okay. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, 
he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Okay. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. All right. We had parties there, man. You you should go there and have a party. I really should. It's nice meeting you, boys. Yeah, that'll get ya. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Alright, doors are gonna be locked. Just gotta check. That one's locked. Alright, patient rooms. That one would be open. Alright, let's talk to people. So they can say they made a contribution and then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny But it wasn't supposed to be about mullets and now it's about mullets and when it's in slow motion They call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook We needed to go big in the target demographic and they're not even kidding They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles my I like you, buddy. I like you a lot. From the characters to the toaster, talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up. And the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too. And I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me. And everyone should just. I just have a big grin on my face right now. This is great. But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. And that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Yeah. Okay, I... Bird... Uh, cat lady? Okay. I like this. I, it's so meta and I, I, I love that character. I also have a theory crafting hey, in my wait. head here. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Yeah, I will, I will. I want to look for coffee thermoses! Said I'd collected 25 when I got that achievement, so... That should be good. So, theory time. This is a battery. Okay, more theory time. Uh, explanation of what not. Have you ever seen that episode of Doctor Who where the Weeping Angels have this, like, time vortex battery? Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus no, on writing. A Everything place. else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Hi, Alan. For days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Yeah, so... Oh, look, it's a QR code. <laughs> um, interesting. I gotta do some research on that. So, yeah, that episode of Doctor Who and the... wanted me to write. Stop I it. Knew I could, talking. But I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. I'm just going around finding things. Uh, so, yeah... In that episode of Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels made a time battery paradox thing. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. I'm trying to 
The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Oh, okay. Keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, battery time vortex manipulation so that they can charge themselves with all that. So, in this, I think the Doctor has all these writers and creative people so that the shadow creatures have something to feed on. That's my th that's my new theory now. Well, that's not a new theory, but it's the theory I'm going with. Ooh, Emerson. Emerson? Nightmare Springs, the video game. Oh, the guy that... <laughs> yeah, because this was a Xbox game to begin with before it went to PC. God, this is... The most meta shit I have ever ever experienced at the moment. Ooh, ooh, do I get some do I get some uh, things here? Let's see. That's beautiful. That is simply and utterly beautiful. This goes to my theory of, hey, the video game guy is creating the video game you're playing right now. Oh my god, that is the scary glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Yeah, go Thor Noden. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You yeah, just keep good. doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do that. Yeah. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Oh, television? No, that's just well, things are unraveling reflection. fast, aren't they? <laughs> nah. Ooh. page. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Uh-oh, Barry's dead. <laughs> Uh, my store. I'm taking it. Oh yeah, no. Oh, that was good lightning. Oh, that's really nice lightning. The back Sinclair was bad. Yours, that wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office from St. Clair. I had birch. to get to Hartman's office. To he had taken piper. all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult Ooh, okay. So if I find the manuscript pages, maybe I'll figure the clues out. Okay. Now that I have keys, though. Alright, this is getting... This is getting interesting. I'm finally getting answers. Maybe. I'm getting close to answers. Ooh, pictures. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Let's see if anything is... These are really good art. This is really good art. I would love to have some of these. Ooh, we got shadow things. Uh, I would love to have, like, some of these. That one especially. Ooh, that looks bloodborne-y. Uh, I'd love to have these posters on my walls. Or framed pictures. All right, all right. Play now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Dealing with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't 
Francis Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and if not you, just some stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man <laughs> I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Yeah, no, I bet so. All, I recognized the words, the phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this, just a recording. Oh. Oh, really? So he staged the photo on the wall caught he my attention. The He's the one in it. The there. clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Yeah. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah. Of course, he's gonna say, "Oh, it's because of your psychosis." Hartman, do you hear me? Or I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred. Who is? Seriously, do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? Oh, Barry! Barry? Ow! About time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Good old Barry. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. Well, it's What's, better than being dead. What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. <laughs> That'll teach her. Yeah. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Fragile boxes, all that stuff, coffee mug. Excuse me, Barry. 